My name is Steve Mordew and I'm the CEO of Forceworks. Excellent. And how did you get started with business apps? So I got started actually as a business owner myself. Uh, many years ago we started using uh, Salesforce and uh, from that uh, evolved into a Salesforce consulting practice. Did that for about uh, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Moved over to Dynamics in 2011 when they moved to the cloud. Gotcha. So if you weren't uh, doing what you're currently doing, what's an alternative career path you would have taken? I would have started this one much sooner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably 20 years sooner. I spent many years in uh, commercial real estate, which was a good business, but not as good as this one. Gotcha. So what excites you most about the future of Dynamics 365? Oh, I guess uh, really the unknown. It's, uh, you know, every year we're getting more stuff that we weren't aware of and new, new, uh, new business models being created out of thin air that we hadn't even contemplated. So when I look back five years ago at what we had and where we are now, it's hard to imagine where we'll be in five years. So true. If you could go anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be? Home. Home? <laughs> yeah, I miss home. I'm, uh, you know, from sunny Florida, and I left 85 degrees to come here, so I'm always happy to go home. What's your number one bit of advice for people about Dynamics 365? Uh, you know, I would say uh, just jump in, whether it's uh, customers or partners or developers or people looking at it, uh, just jump in. I mean, there's, it's all new. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no a deep pool of expertise that has a lot of value anymore. We're all learning. Uh, the best experts in the field, knowledge is only about a year old of what we're working mm. with today. So it's, it's always a good time to jump in. There's always brand new things coming into the platform that you can become an expert at uh, quickly. I can't even keep track of how many things there are. On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird are you? How weird am I? Yeah. I'm not weird at all. <laughs> not at all? Not, not at all. Only when I'm around George. So it's about a 39 then. What's, your, what's the most common myth about a Dynamics 365 implementation you've come across? Uh, that has to be complex. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what everybody uh, that I run into in our business, we focused on SMB, and their number one concern is it's going to be very complex, uh, they'll have difficulty learning it, difficulty adopting it, and uh, you know, we know that's not true. Mm -hmm. What are you not good at? Development, um, fishing, I mm -hmm. love fishing but I'm not good at it, um, jogging, not good at jogging. <laughs> So it's a great. At, I'm good at drinking. Yeah, <laughs> I think we all are. It's a part of being an MVP. Um, so what's so great about being an MVP? Uh, you know, really meeting you guys. I mean, I got to. Uh, I've been involved with a lot of Microsoft folks over the years, and thought I was really plugged into the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. But uh, once I became an MVP about a year and a half ago, I really found there was a whole nother level uh, you know, to engage with. Uh, lots of sharing. There's none, no holding information in. Everybody's willing to share. Yeah. And I've learned uh, more in the last year and a half than I have since we joined the platform. 